Whoa. Landing an account this big will totally change my landscaping business. It's going to mean hiring more guys and more equipment and new trucks for the new guys to drive the new equipment in. Huh. I don't know if I'm ready. You can do this. And Ford Pro Fence Simple can help. Our experts are ready to make growing pains less painful for your business with flexible financing solutions that meet the needs of your business today when you need them. Get started at fordpro.com slash financing. Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. Lightning Bolt Theater of the Mind, in association with Strange Company, presents Bleeding of the Hedges, Arc 3, The City of Thorns, written by Joshua J. Price, with revisions by Carol Foley. Oh, yeah. Looks like you handled it okay. Albin, take a look at the file and figure out the best way to go about finding our brothers. Where are you going? To let them know we're making progress. I'm coming with you. I'd rather you work on things with Albin. Hello, ladies. How dare you address us so casually? Same song and dance every time I come down here. You think you just give it up. Until I shove you back through the hedge, I'm in control, not you. What is it that you want, Solis? To let you know we're making progress. Before you know it, you guys can rule all you want back in Trina, Avalon, whatever it is you call it. How do you intend to stop Damiana? You just let me worry about that. Fool! Do you honestly think you can stop her? She's Pan's daughter! I've got you two confined to an iron cage, don't I? To help you. There's no need to treat us like common prisoners. You should have thought about that before killing some of your own. Ha! Well, Dixie and Jack certainly weren't of your people. Why would you care? They were my friends. And the death of their worthless mortal vessels hardly need mourning. They needed to be made an example of. So no other could use their ignorant flesh to worship that false queen, dummy. You killed them out of spite. From where I'm standing, you're no better than the goat. I'm just glad I stopped you from killing Rain and Jail, too. If I get out of here, I swear... Sister, don't waste your breath. She doesn't understand. Well, I've had enough of your company already. I'll be back when it's time to give you any updates. Ciao. That little word. Dear sister, I've told you. You should let me handle the conversation when she comes down I here. I wish everyone would quit telling me what to do. You know I'm looking out for us both. I know. Sorry. It's just insulting being kept down here like mere mortals when we are queens. I know. But if we play our cards right, the little bitch's arrogance will allow us to escape our confines. If you say so. Trust me. We are the rightful queens of the Fae. And our people know this. Eventually, they will ask what right she has to keep us here. You put way too much faith in us. They are lost. And in the end, we will guide them home. 
morning came much earlier than I was hoping for. It does that from time to time. It's time to go to save mommy now, isn't it? Yes, it is, Eric. So, you are all clear on what your part is in this? Yes. And I just pray to any and all gods listening that it works. It must. Can't you just peek at the story's ending and see? No, I wish I could. That isn't exactly how my power works. The ending to this story is unclear, dependent, as I said, on each and every little decision we all make. You gods and your answers. Has anyone told you that you never really answer anyone's questions? It's not their fault, Marcus. It's their nature. Marcus! <laughs> ah, kid, we've got this. We're gonna save your mom even if it makes her really mad at us. We can do this. Have faith in old Marcus. He hasn't let any of us down yet. Let's get a move on. The situation feels entirely too familiar. I know what you mean. The difference is that this time we have to save the evil witch, not destroy her. Sometimes I wonder if we should have destroyed anyone at all. Good luck, Marcus. Aaron. I will be waiting here to protect you when you return. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Battery, along with my associates, Arnie Kunch. I can introduce myself, thank you very much. All right. Hi, I'm Arnie Kunch. Fine. That's it? That's it. And also, do you want me to introduce you, Brad? Well, of course, Mr. Bell, that's your job as host. Thank you, Brad. And I'd like to introduce Brad. Hold it. What? Here's your script. Script? <laughs> well, you gotta know what to say. All right. <clears throat> And introducing Brad Montworth, a salesman, incomparable public relations expert, and, of course, unrivaled attorney at law. No, come on, you know how to say it, Mr. Bell. Unrivaled attorney, attorney at, at law. law. Oh, Mr. Bell, you shouldn't say those things. You make me blush. Can I do my introduction over again? No. We're here for an important reason. Very important. Indeed. If you think you deserve significant financial compensation, call Brad Motworth, attorney, attorney at, at law. law. Oh, boy. At 555 No, 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 no. We're here to remind everybody to take steps to avoid the coronavirus. Yeah, don't catch it. Because there's no one you can sue. Wash your hands thoroughly and keep social distancing. What? Social distancing. One more time. Stay about six feet away from everybody else. Right, very good. Oh, I gotta wash my hands thoroughly. I don't want to get me this corona. Ooh, keep your distance now. Socially. I want to keep feeling fine, corona. Never gonna stop getting squirts from my Purell. I'm always gonna buy all the toilet paper that they sell. Bye, 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 bye. Whoa. Bye, corona. Bye, corona. Don't get no closer, huh? Beat it, huh? Far enough where I can't see your eyes, Corona. An illness history is not for me. Uh uh. Don't want to try your COVID on for size, Corona. Never gonna touch. Stay away. My epidermis never wants to be close to where that nasty germ is. Bye, 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 bye. Woo! Bye, Corona. Fly, Corona. Captain, bye, Corona. What? Pumpkin pie, Corona. Now wait a minute. Have a bye, Corona. Goodbye, Corona. Good riddance.